Here it comes from the life. All right, so today we are going to go do a full band session at my friend Edwin's amazing studio. It's called Bunker 5. It's going to be a full band. We're going to do live takes, but I thought it would be fun to document some of the process of just preparing for the session and what I'm going to bring and kind of how we're doing the whole thing behind the scenes. But to prep, I've gone ahead and made an input sheet for the session here. Then I'm prepping the Pro Tools session so that when I get there, I could just pull up the session. And because I'll have the session already prepped on my drive, I'll be able to just focus on getting the room set up, getting all the lines ran, patches, getting the console ready. He's got a beautiful console, but we'll see more when we get there. I'm honestly super excited for today. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun and the studio is super great. I'll put a link to Bunker 5 if you wanna check it out. I also did a studio tour of it on my main channel, but um, Edwin, who owns the studio, has done a lot of additions to the studio since we did that tour. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. And of course, the artist we're working with today is my friend, Matt. His artist name is Lippy. I met Matt when we were doing a session out in LA with Justin Timberlake, who was producing the whole thing. But he is doing some solo work now. So we're gonna do this fun session here in Nashville. So I'll grab my hard drive, my input sheet, a couple mics and a few things here at the studio. We'll head on over to the studio, hit that like button, subscribe, and let me know if you wanna see more videos behind the scenes of sessions like this down in the comments. Okay, so we just got here, Bunker 5 Studios, obviously unbelievable, amazing place. Uh, Edwin, who owns the studio, just did a set full band session in here. So we're actually going to kind of use some of what he already had, which is saves us some setup time. And he's helping us get things arranged in the live room. So now we're going to just load everything in, get mics placed. We got the board already set up here. It's a beautiful 2448 API. And I'll get my drives. We'll pull up the session. And... Uh, Get some sounds. I'm excited. Okay, let me try a different output. Matt, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Matt Lipkins, aka Lippy. Um, I'm an Aquarius. Uh, bartender. A bartender, DJ, DJ and uh, single ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good on time. It's 11.15. We've got most of the lines ran out in the live room. We're working on headphone boxes, lighting. You know, we'll confirm our inputs here in a sec. The main task at hand is getting click because Matt is a very fancy songwriter that's right there's this, a lot of tempo changes that's right the feel of this song it was important to dude it's got a mad feel thanks well <laughs> that's a lot of cats who were playing today <laughs> provided that feel but yeah when we were recording the song we were like i think the chorus actually needs to be slower i think that'll be more Ooh. impactful yeah sure does so we've got a we've got a drifting tempo yeah so i gotta get that file i'm excited and look at this studio, look at all these things. For those who are curious, I actually brought this 60s Ludwig with me, and uh, this is a friend of mine, his name is Frank. He, it's an amazing sounding drum kit. Uh, the drummer is actually bringing his own cymbals and snare, which is pretty standard, um, but the kit is just, I, I'm familiar with it. I know it's gonna sound awesome for this song. As far as the other musicians, they're pretty much bringing their own instruments and rigs so that's all i really felt i needed to bring for the session These caleb 
working on the big picture. Oh yeah, lots of plans going on here. And as far as the microphones go, I just looked at the list that Bunker 5 had. They have an insane amount of microphones, but there were a few things that are preferable to me, and most of those were on drums, and that includes the Loudon Audio snare mic on top, but it's a large diaphragm condenser designed to go on the top of a snare. Toms, I brought the Biodynamic M201s, which are really fantastic directional. Uh, they're hypercardioid, dynamic microphones, but they work phenomenally on drums and on these drums. I'm literally using these mics on the same drum kit that we're using today. The only other mic for drums I brought was the Kickout, which is the Loughton Audio Clarion, which is a large diaphragm FET condenser. And outside of that, we pretty much rolled with everything else that Bunker 5 has. I think the only other mic I brought that we used was another M201 dynamic mic for the acoustic guitar, which I wasn't totally sure whether or not that was going to be in the booth or out in the live room. These are all things that we sort of game planned on site day of in the live room. But when it comes to being ready for a session where everyone's going to be playing at the exact same time in an environment that I hadn't used before, but I knew it was going to be great. These are the things that I wanted to bring as well as the input sheet where I knew what I was going to be using in regards to microphones on each of the individual performers and then having the session set up saved a lot of time. Tell you one of the things I learned with the input sheet specifically that would have helped you know getting lines ran and stuff is obviously the panels at someone else's studio are going to be different than the panels in my studio so in hindsight or for next time what I'm going to do is use my input sheet map it out the exact same but I'm going to leave the tie lines or mic lines um, row of cell column of cells blank so that I can when we run those lines, we can just walk out into the live room and see which panel those are on and just fill it in on the fly. That way, everything sort of links up when I go into the control room and look at my input sheet. Outside of that, everything else went really smooth. Took a couple minutes to figure out the Q sends because we're using the headphone mixers. 
and there were uh, a total of eight channels to send to all the players. So in that situation, both the engineer and the players all have to work together and be flexible to get the mix that they want. And sometimes that can take a second, but once we got it all sorted out, we were able to get sounds and the sounds through that API console sounded amazing, so good. And everyone who came in and performed was such a joy and super talented. It made my job really, really easy. Once I got everything set and the sounds that I was happy with, I was able to just sit back and hit record and watch this amazing performance. You know, we did, we did a bunch of takes just to make sure that we got the best of everything all the way through. Uh, some of these people had not performed this song or played together before, and some of them have. So um, yeah, it turned out really, really well. I'm really excited about it. After we did what we felt were enough takes where we got the right performance from everyone, we went through and did a couple comps. That We did that in less than an hour, and honestly, I'm really impressed with how the whole thing went. It was a, you know, a nine to five kind of session, and we were all out of there at five and had everything pretty much cleaned up, ready to go, and Edwin was like the greatest studio host of all time. He was out there helping us with lines and mic stands and, and uh, really, really exceptional service and quality out of this place. I mean, the, the facility is just absolutely outrageous. I'll put links to him. If you want to, even if you're not in town, come in to town and you want to book the studio, it's like kind of the perfect spot to where you can get everything taken care of in one spot. So but doing sessions like this is super fun and it's rare to be able to document, bring cameras in and capture these moments and be able to one, look back at them and remember them. So it's really important to me to be able to do this and to be able to share it with you and try to give as much value from the behind the scenes side of all of this. So if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. I'll do my best to answer all of the questions down there. If you wanna see the full studio tour of this studio, I'll link that down there as well. And I have a copy of the input sheet that I use. You can download that for free in exchange for your email. I might shoot you some emails. Uh, eventually, but it's a really good tool to use, especially if you're going into other studios or even just to have your own studio make sense for the work that you're doing. That's pretty much it. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. If you guys like these behind the scenes videos, again, let me know, I'll keep doing them. We've doing plenty of sessions, but uh, doing the videos for the whole thing is just like a matter of, is it interesting to you guys and what do you wanna see in them? Let me, so again, Leave it down in the comments and we'll see you in the next video.